number of losses event per year, up to here we expected it, up to here it's not. So we are saying that up to here we know what we are losing, why we are losing, we need to find out and how we are going to stop it, we need to look at it. But this area, we didn't know. It was like the presentation PowerPoint thing. It didn't work. I didn't know that when I come back it's not going to work or I'll start my presentation without something on that screen. So it is just in this uh, space of time we cannot provide you a solution or say this is what you can go tomorrow and implement in your organization. This is all to open your mind up, to think outside the box, to think within a regulatory framework how Basel II will approach these things. There is no set regulation how you avoid risk. It's up to the individual circumstances, pos position and place. What are the regulatory requirements? What are the legal limits within that country? Whether you can implement those type of regulations or whether risk policies or not. That's one of the key things. What is the guidance from the Insurance Institute in Pakistan? What is the guideline from a state bank for the financial institutions? What are the guidelines from any manufacturing companies or what are the guidelines from the audit committee here? What should be done? So looking into all these things and then you define your losses within these parameters and then move forward and say this is where we stand, these are the losses, that's how we mitigate them. Basel II AMA, I mean I, I wrote a discussion on Basel II, so if you guys are very interested I'm open for a discussion on it, but just go through quickly, AMA is advanced management, as an advanced measurement approach, key elements, internal data, external data, scenario analysis, internal control and business environment factor, insurance mitigation techniques. Flexible and robust framework that builds on bank internal methodologies and allow for evolution and practice over time. Most important thing is the evolution and practice over time. We need to keep in mind that circumstances, external environment is dynamic. It's not a static. It changes. Especially in today's world after the collapse of big giants like Lehman Brothers in the world, WorldCom, uh, Enron, these companies, they failed because their internal control failed. Enron was the biggest example. Um, I'm not sure whether you've heard of Madoff funds. Um, this was run by Sir Madoff. He was uh, one of the most elite members of the society in America. He ran away with $74 billion. It was very similar to Samad Dadabhai operation, pyramid screen. You pay me billion and I'll give you 1.2 billion, three months time. Even when I was at Deutsche Bank, Deutsche Bank, one of the traders, invested four billion dollars in Madoff fund. Now we had a team of 200 analysts, couldn't find anything wrong. Yes, please. That's what I mentioned, uh, uh, sorry, you finished with your question or? Uh, okay. That's what I mentioned earlier, I have told you that we have a perception in mind, he's right. We have a profile, he's been at this profile, it is good to have a credible profile with somebody who say okay, but don't for accountants, for financial managers, for people in, our, in the industry who are looking and dissecting the financial information. We need to go away from the subjective information and go more objective. We need to go and find out what exactly it is. Madoff fund, people look at Madoff and his reputation, their listings, but they did not look at the transactional level that how somebody in the world can provide 20% return on a fund 
प्रॉब्लम ऑडिटर्स के साथ थी बिकॉज वट दे देड मैड ऑफ हायर द मोस्ट हाईली क्वालिफाइड ग्रेजुएट्स फ्रॉम हार्वर्ड ऑक्सफर्ड एंड केम्ब्रिज दीज आर द इंटेलिजेंट पीपल दीज आर जीनियस दे विल स्टैंड अप एंड टेल यू समथिंग इवन इफ इट इज रॉन्ग एंड विल मेक यू बिलीव इट इज करेक्ट बट दोज गाइज वर इन ऑल देयर सिंसियरिटी वर इनोसेंट दे वर फेड बींग फेड द रॉन्ग इन्फॉर्मेशन how the profit was made only handful of a people knew at that time how the money was made these guys have lucrative bonuses their bonuses go into millions i mean one of the mad of trader he had a bonus of about 48 million pound one year bonus which is i think tom cruise everyone knows his his annual income is about 50 million so you have people like that who are earning this big money they have a huge reputation they, the circle of friends and the people they sit with is the senators in america you know they they get invited to the big meetings and big places the biggest problem is that the auditors and accountants we as a human being take perception of their position and we start to shake our confidence and say well i cannot check him the way i want to i mean we're not for asking for a pocket search but we're asking the auditors and accountants and people who are responsible to take necessary step to avoid the risk just ask how is it i know it's very difficult i mean when you when you stand in front of the board of directors or the managing director and you need to ask a question from them it can be a very challenging position but as a customer if you are investing like so sort of deutsche bank investing 4 billion dollars is not a small thing mm-hmm. deutsche bank has traders who experience and they are like at the same level The only thing that dragged them into those transaction is the lucrative money is the lucrative return that they are getting traders only interest, interested in their own profit you get a huge bonus i mean there's one common thing which we addressed last year uh, with credit suisse was basically traders are dealing in commodities and they are making the hedging agreements for next 25 years return on the agreement return on the hedging transaction for commodities now if you get to eat a commodity hedge for 25 years what is the guarantee you're going to stay with the bank when it makes the loss you're not 5 years time maximum time in london for most of the trading people most of the banking staff they revolve around 5 to 7 years you longer more than any longer than 7 years in one bank you consider part to be of the furniture and you consider to be not dynamic So this is the type of environment we are living at fast paced environment with the mad of fun that was the problem that people ignored or overlooked because of their reputation I'll give you an example in Karachi if somebody approaches you in a suit it happened to me in London somebody approaches you in a suit you will never understand or estimate that this guy has a proud problem he is going to ask you for the money you will not and if he ask you for the money you won't give him one rupee you let least take out 100 looking at his outlook that he must be in need because you have never seen a beggar in that outfit i had somebody in london he came up to me and said i was at king's cross station he came and said look i need help i'm in trouble i have a problem obviously the man was very well dressed had a bag in his hand which assumed that might be a laptop could be anything and i thought okay looked reasonable he said this is my business card this is my number on this and that's it I said, hmm, "What's your problem?" He said, "I need a ticket to Manchester." I said, "Okay." It was fifty pound or something. I said, "Okay, I'll help you out." He said, "I'll return your money." I said, "Look, whether you return it or you don't, it's okay." He said, "No, no, no. I have business. I can do this. Can you give me some more money?" And that's when I clicked. I said, "You asked me for a return ticket. I gave you that. Now you're asking for money. What is the problem?" So anyway, he, he went away with the ticket. Never got my money back. So the reason is. if had the person been in a outfit which is inappropriate to ask that amount i wouldn't have given him i would have then somebody later on told me that this guy is a habitual he travels to manchester and at this station he spots the person who's coming he was he was from asian background so he spots the person agent coming he would go in by some problem hai and then obviously you, you go in he say okay take if you have a problem i'll i'll try to resolve it So that's the technique he's using similarly madoff what he used is the top 